Hi guys, it's Jonathan, and I am excited to talk to you as always. Um, and I, one of the things I think is super important to be thinking about is when you're dealing with a safety issue, um, whether it's assault or abduction um, or viral infection, right? Um, you always want to be assessing um, the risk versus the freedom loss, right? So, oh, but I could be safer from being mugged if I didn't go out at night ever. Um, True, true, but what would you be giving up, right? So there's a there's a balancing act, and every person you know has the freedom to make decisions around those two balanced priorities in ways that they see as responsible. And it's there's no clear cut way. If I if I had gone out, would I've gotten mugged? You don't you don't know. And if you didn't, you know, did you save yourself? Uh, who knows? And there's no real way to assess that after the fact, right? We can just look at the science and the statistics, and sort of make educated guesses, and then make um, the best judgments we can. So I think this whole um, there's there's a, there's a lot to be said on both sides of this argument about oh what's aggressive enough what's not enough um, you know is 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 this um, scientifically are the prevention measures that are being taken by communities around the country right now is that an overreaction as a response to media hysteria or is that really scientifically valid and um, you know we can look to our science community uh, to advise us about what what's being recommended I think that that's a good practice. Um, and you know make our own decisions about what we're willing to what we're willing to do